fantasy versus reality, the production moved out to a little town in the West Catskills with really the perfect name for a zombie movie. Fleshman's. Fleshman's. Get it? Could there be a better name? Well, evidently so, because in the movie it's called Centerville. But Fleshman's itself is really quite a town. You drive in and the first thing you notice is that the sidewalks are packed with Hasidic Jews, all dressed in all black in the middle of summer with their big hats or fur hats or yarmulkes. And the next thing you notice are all the Hispanics, all of them evidently working for the Hasids doing construction and renovation. Later on, you notice a certain other kind of local, and they're big diesel Dodge pickup trucks with the gun racks in the rear window and American flags all over them, and they're build-the-wall bumper stickers, and that special little modification that allows them to belch noxious black smoke all over you on command, a cute little assertion of aggressive environmental ignorance called rolling coal. True blue, red, white, and blue hillbillies, and Oh, how I hate that my flag, the flag of give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the flag of inclusion has come to be used as a symbol of hate and exclusion by a whole group of insular xenophobic separatists all over this country. But back to that little town with the perfect name for a zombie movie. Because now one more distinct group has joined its population. Hollywood types, producers, caterers, security, second, second ADs, and so on. It was a strange and not always comfortable commingling of this bizarro contemporary 4-H club, Hasids, Hispanics, Hillbillies, and Hollywood. <laughs> 